show up. This is News Channel 3, 6 o'clock. Now to our WSAZ investigation, no ambulance. We've been telling you for a couple of weeks now about people in one county calling 911 and being told no ambulance is available or being asked if they can drive their loved ones to a hospital themselves. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson has been asking county leaders how they plan to fix the problem and tonight shows us how they are preparing to take action. When someone has a medical emergency, you call 911, expecting an ambulance right away. Our WSAZ investigation finding that is not always the case in Wayne County. The family of a man with chest pains getting this response. Wayne County 911. Yes, I just called about my brother. No one's marked in route yet. Is there a way that you guys can drive him? Well, that family was upset. They drove their loved one to the hospital, and he survived. Melissa Foster's family was not so lucky when she was found unresponsive but breathing. Her family called 911. They were told no ambulance was available from the nearest station. Where are you all at? You all got to come on. I'm working on getting an ambulance now, ma'am. It was about 25 minutes before an ambulance arrived from a station slightly further away. Her family left grieving and wondering what if. I mean, if they would have got there, somebody there got there on time, she could still be here. So I asked, how can that be? I found ambulances in Wayne County run out of volunteer fire departments, those stations not always staffed. Our WSAZ investigation finding that reality requires significant help from neighboring Cabell County. At some point, does this system break? I'd say it's pretty close to be broken right now. So I looked at state law, finding it is the duty of county commissions to provide emergency ambulance service. So in December, I asked Wayne County Commission President Jeff Maddox for his solution. There is no immediate resolution to the problems that we're having right now. After our story aired, these state lawmakers from Wayne County calling on commissioners to act on a plan. So I went back to the Wayne County Commission for its first meeting since our story aired, where concerned residents spoke out. And if you don't fix something that's broken, it's going to get to where you can't fix it. And I think that's where we're at here. Uh, they've got to do something. Commissioners taking action during the meeting. Their first conversation with a private contractor, a company capable of providing help on a permanent or an as-needed basis. Commissioners also talking openly about the potential for and the challenges of putting an excess levy on the ballot, weighing options on a potential life and death issue. Whenever we make the decision, I feel like we're getting very close. We want to make sure it's the right decision. So I followed up afterwards with the commission president. Where do you see the commission on a timeline to roll out a plan? I think that we will roll out a plan for this in the next 30 days. Any thoughts what that plan's looking like? You know, we're considering every option. Every option as a authority to uh, put a levy on the ballot, an ambulance fee, uh, those are private carriers. These are all things that we're considering to this point. The commission president saying that plan may be a multi-tiered approach, a private service to provide immediate help, with an excess levy to raise funding for a long-term, sustainable solution. But nearly two-thirds of voters rejected a Wayne County EMS levy in 2018, and that weighs heavily on the commission president's mind. If you make the vote to put a levy on the ballot, what has to be different this time? They just have to understand, like with all other counties, that, that offer or that put a levy on the ballot for EMS services, people have to understand you got to pay for the service. You know, no matter what it is, whether it's cable TV, whether it's water coming into my house or whatever service I'm paying for, I've got to pay for the service. Wilma Stevens says after attending the meeting, she's hopeful the county is moving in the right direction and wants residents to step up as well. If you're going to gripe about it, you know, at least come and be heard. You know, let your opinion be heard. You know, that's what the county commissioner is for. I think they're really trying. I truly do. They answered our questions. I really think they're trying to find a solution. Um, but we as the people and the voters, we have to do our part. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Wayne County. The Wayne County Commission meets again this Thursday at 315. On a related note, a group of seven state lawmakers, mostly from the north, introduced legislation Friday that, if passed, would force every county commission to establish a fire levy to fund volunteer fire departments and EMS. 
It's unknown if that proposal will gain enough traction in the legislature that generally favors tax cuts as opposed to new taxes.